Hey everyone, uh, welcome back and good morning. All right guys, so today we are going to finally um, finish assembling the brand new biogas digester right here in front of us. If my camera will focus, there we go. So yeah, um, we're only a couple steps away from actually finishing this. So for those of you that may, may be new to the channel, um, I do have um, a playlist and a lot of videos covering biogas. Um, what it is, how it works, what you can do with it. I show lots of examples of it working and all that stuff. So definitely check it out. Okay, for those of you that have been following the channel, um, we assembled most of everything here already. This is the structure, right? Um, this is a greenhouse slash um, biodigester. Okay, so we're accomplishing two things here. Um, instead of having a, a basic biodigester... Uh, you, your challenge is keeping it warm, right? Uh, keeping it hotter. Well, with this design, it eliminates that, right? Because it's a greenhouse in, a, in an effect. And what it does is it helps heat that biodigester that's inside of it, right? So two birds at one stone type of deal. All right. So what we need to do is, to finish this up today, <coughs> I have most of the structure done except for the roof, Right? So the roof does need to be installed. So it's a little dome. So we're finished installing that. But before we do that, we're going to install the actual digester in here. Okay. So inside, as you guys can see, it's empty. Nothing in there. Right. Nothing in there. So we're going to go ahead and install that digester in here. It's got a flange that it has to mount to. So if you guys can see right here. Right. Um, so everything gets mounted from the inside out. And then everything gets bolted down. So we have, this is the feeding port right here. So this is where you would put all your, um, you know, um, stuff that you want to throw in here for your biodigester. Uh, and then on this side, we have the exit port right there that we need to mount right here. Right. Uh, and this is, of course, the waste outlet, right? Um, really high quality, um, potent, um, fertilizer so yeah really nice design here really nice design okay so um let's go ahead and get this underway i want to get this project finished so that way we can move on to other things we're starting to close up on some of these other projects so it's really nice so uh, i'll cut back in with more footage here hey everyone we are back uh so i decided to, before i finish assembling everything so this is the Basically, the last of the actual frame parts and everything. Um, there's still quite a bit of parts inside my shed over there. That's for the gas lines and the H2S removers and stuff like that. So, um, I'm going to move it because I don't want to set it all up and then it's going to have to sit here, right? So, I want to try to put it in a spot. I don't have to worry about moving for a while. Now, um, this car, I think, will get out of here hopefully in the next couple months here. So, this will be completely out of here. All this stuff right here will be out of here. So, I wanted to kind of leave this area open but here's the thing bio biogas digesters right um you don't want to have it right next to your house technically okay it does make it convenient yes but you don't want to have it right next to your house um <laughs> trust me <laughs> because here's the thing as you feed the bio digester you will have the fertilizer right the waste um, and you have to pipe that out. So if this is next to the house, that means I don't have to run a pipe someplace, you know, underground because I don't want to drive on it, step on it, or trip over it to wherever I want to discharge all this. So it'd be a, a, a ideal situation if you could set up your biodigester kind of in an area where you want the waste or the fertilizer to go naturally in a way. So over here, you know, away from everything, um, I'm going to set it up right here. But because the ground is not level here, um, I have some scrap wood and stuff. I'm going to build a very simple, straightforward, um, you know, platform. That way I can put this on top of the platform and I know the platform will be level and then my biodigester will be level, right? And so this right here, the green part that you see on here is the feeding side. So that's where you put all your, you know, food waste, whatever you want to put in there for biogas. Um, and then on the out, the, the waste port on the other side, you know, so what I want to do is... Um, because this is kind of still downhill. So if I put it up uphill, I can use gravity to my advantage when it comes time. So when I feed it, you know, whatever you put in. So let's give an example. You put five gallons of whatever, or even a gallon, gallon of whatever, 
um, once your bar digester is full, it will return that out. So it's om almost equal parts in a sense, okay? Not quite, but almost. So if I put a gallon in, a gallon is going to come out. So if I can use gravity, you know, I'm going to put a, um, it's going to come out of a pipe on the back and run it this way. Um, then I could maybe plant some trees along here, right? Like fruit trees, um, even maybe a small little garden or whatever, you know. But um, I have this whole area right here where the grass is not cut that I can cut to kind of use gravity to my advantage to help just push it down line, right? Without me having to worry about repumping it or anything like that. Let's use gravity to our advantage here, right? So um, I'm going to go ahead and set up a little platform right here. Um, I have some scrap wood back there. And um, let me see if I can kind of get this leveled out. And then once I get it leveled out, I'll throw all the, you know, assemble the rest of the parts and we'll, we'll be done. Then later on, I can worry about, um, you know, piping, you know, where I want all the stuff to go. So I think this might be the best way. It's not next to the house. It's kind of off the side a little bit. And I can use gravity to my advantage. So I think that's going to be great. So I'll give you guys more footage as it comes along here. And as you guys can see where this was sitting... The grass is nice and tall, right? Because it's like a greenhouse. Um, but once you put the bow digester inside of it, um, you won't have this happening because the bow digester covers the whole base, the whole base of the inside of that bow digester, right? But yeah, you can see the greenhouse was working as a greenhouse technically. Anyway, I'll give you guys more footage as it comes along. All right, guys. So we're making some progress over here for the bow digester setup. Um, so I was able to find a pallet laying around that's actually the size actually just a, hit, a little bit bigger than the size of the biodigester which is great um i also found some tofu um concrete blocks laying around that i just had miscellaneous um so i'm leveling out the platform right now this is what this is going to sit on obviously and so what i'm going to do is make sure everything is level um and then i'm going to go ahead and put a piece of plywood up on top here right so it's a you know it's all even right it doesn't have all these little you know holes in between the boards right so we want to make sure that's all flat so i'll put a piece of plywood across there and then right here in the middle where we have these other two supports going across this this pallet here i want to put a support here here and on the back as well and then also in the middle because this will be this will have a lot of weight in here uh we're going to do the calculation when i fill it up as far as how much um you know liquid weight right technically liquid water in a sense um so that's it's going to be pretty heavy because it is bigger than an ibc tank international bulk container it is roughly two times the size of the volume of that right and so if you think about it one ibc tank or water tank like that is 275 gallons and this is you know two times the size of that that's a lot of weight right so I want to make sure that this is going to support it, right? So we're going to put some more supports under the, that, you know, through the middle here, basically, and then the plywood, and then when the weight gets on it, she'll lock everything in. Um, but we want to make sure we support the middle as well. So yeah, uh, this is going to be the new, new the new location. Um, it's probably going to sit here for a couple years in operation, uh, and then down the road I can always drain it out, and then I can relocate it if I want, and then restart it over. That's the good thing about this, right? You, you can always restart the process as far as the biodigester. So. Yeah, let me get back to work here, guys. I want to finish the supports. I want to get a piece of plywood on here. And then um, I can actually slide this up over here and finish assembling this up here. Hey, everyone. Uh, welcome back. All right, guys. So I made some progress here, as you guys can see. Um, so I ended up shearing up the underneath. I actually added a beam because there's a lot of weight on this. So um, we have concrete, some concrete blocks and stuff. Uh, then I have a nice big beam here um, just to support the middle a little bit. Um, she was strong, but you know, we just want to make sure she's extra strong. Um, and then on this side here, I'm going to cut the grass back out of here, out of this area here and, um, fill this back, fill this in with dirt. So that way it makes it more level, of course, on this side. Uh, and then that way it's going to give, bring me up at least another four or five inches to the top, you know, so that way when I put stuff in here, you know, I'm not sitting so, this is not sitting so high. So if I bring the ground up, which is easy, I got dirt all over the place, um, fill this up, it would be easier on this side. So it fits on the platform with some room to spare, which is good. Um, here is the output side, right? And I need, I took this apart so I could get in here. So I have the actual, so right here is the actual biodigester inside of here. It's all folded up. It's got the ports. Um, so I'm about to um, get in here and stretch this out. 
and um, start unfolding it so that way I can make the connection to the feeding port over here and to the exit port right here right um, so but I'm running out of daylight I gotta put some of my tools away that I'm not using anymore um, that way I'm not trying to put stuff away when it's super dark and then um, I'll give you guys more footage later on here um, I gotta kind of get the um, lights out for tonight um, that way I can kind of keep working through this yep then I can bring the top out the top has uh you know the, the lid I guess you could call it the roof or the ceiling um, the dome part we need to get all that hooked up so that all those pieces are under my house so I need to pull all of them out and kind of get them going but we got to finish the inside first so anyway it's looking good guys give me a thumbs up on the video and I'll keep giving you guys more um, content here as it comes along all right we're back so um i have the biogas digester bag in here this is what what you know the actual digester here um and we have our feeding port over there and we have our exit port over here so i went ahead and put the bolts in the threaded bolts and every single threaded bolt has its own o-ring around it okay then we have two o-rings here one's bigger than the other so the bigger one's going to go for that one over there and the smaller one is going to go for this one over here Okay, so I'm going to put the small one on the side over here, <clears throat> and we're going to put this one in, if I can get in here. I'm trying not to step on the bag and all that kind of stuff. We're basically going to put uh, this ring, it sits right in here. It's gonna, I need two hands to do it. And then once this is sitting in there, we're going to take this and poke it through the holes here. Then we're going to open up the feeding side. No, sorry, it's on the outside. Um, we're going to go ahead and put the washer, sorry guys, the washer and the um, nut on. And that way we can start making this side tight. And then we're going to do like what you do with a tire when you tighten up your lug nuts and stuff on top of your, your, your car tire. We're going to um, go in different directions. You know, top, bottom, side to side. Instead of all the way around, we're going to skip around a bit until we're nice and snug. And then this one will be done. And then we're going to go over here and we're going to do the same thing that we did for this one over here so as you guys can see there's an o-ring on that right there that's going to get pushed up against that right there right so anyway guys i'm going to try to do as much as i can here before the the sun sets on me it's going down so let me kind of get going here and i'll show you guys a little bit more as we go along all right so i have the feed port and the waste port uh, mounted. Oh, these sheep. Watch them. There's mama on top of the hill. So, anyway. <laughs> all right. So, anyway, sorry about the interruption, guys. So, I have um, both ports all tightened up. I have the O-rings in. Um, now, uh, I have to move on to the next step here. Uh, in the corners of... So, you see these, um, these poles here? Um, they go diagonal in the corner. So, it does two things. It actually holds the corner of the bag... Um, and it also tightens up the corners of the bio digester itself. Um, and then once I'm kind of done in here, I'll reassemble these, put these back in this place. So that way it looks like this side here, all complete, right? I need, I need access. That's why I have it open. Uh, and then once I kind of close everything up, then I can go ahead and start working on the ceiling or the roof and get that all squared away. And then, um, it's just a matter of plugging in the, the gas tube, the poly tube. And um, kind of get that going through the top. Uh, and then we can go to the H2S filters. And uh, I'll bring all that stuff out. It's all in that power shit over there. So I'll bring it all out when we get there. But just kind of giving you guys a heads up of what's, you know, what the steps are here. So anyway, I'm just glad that that part's done. Uh, now I just got to keep moving here. Sun is going down on me. All right, I'll be right back. Hey everyone, uh, we are back here. Of course, it is dark, so I got the spotlights out. Uh, still working. Uh, so, 
The bottle digester, I know it's kind of hard to see because it is, of course, dark. Uh, but I want to give everybody some footage here. Um, I started putting the roof on, as you guys can see. I still have this one side. I started putting um, this side on, but the top right here is not done yet. Um, I do have the waste pipe and stuff. I'll show you guys this a better picture tomorrow. Um, but I just want to show you guys that it is coming together here. Um, and I'm about to actually start another project. That's why I got the spotlights out. So tomorrow we're going to go ahead and finish the biodigester. And then, um, yeah, we can kind of get ready to start the process up here. But I need to finish up all the little loose ends. So anyway, just want to kind of keep you guys in the loop here. And um, I'll share with you guys on another video the next exciting project. Hey everyone, uh, welcome back and good morning. All right guys, so I ran out of daylight, worked as much as I could, um, but I'm dealing with small little parts and stuff. I didn't want to drop them in the grass and lose them, so I called it a night. Um, but it's a brand new day here, but the weather is pretty bad. Solar system is doing great, fully charged guys. So, um, I want to try to finish this if it doesn't pour rain on me. Uh, so we have a, mis um, a bunch of little miscellaneous parts that I need to finish hooking up here. Um, we have the waste port here. I still got to put the chain on to lock it in. Um, I still have to put this panel in right here and the dome part over here and the two end pieces. Um, I need to spread that the biodigester, um, spread it out. And then like how I hooked it over there on that one, I need to hook it to this one right here. So she opens everything up. Um, but yeah, I'm making progress here, guys. Just want to give you guys some footage in the morning here before I before I um, finish her up here. So anyway, I'll definitely give you guys more footage as it comes along, but I think this is gonna be a nice location um, for a couple of reasons. So the sun, um, you know, comes up in this area over here. That's kind of why I positioned my solar hot water heating panels the way they are. So um, sun comes up this way. So the sun's gonna be able to hit this whole face of this biodigester and come up and around and over to the other side, right? So I'm hitting more of the long mass. If I also turn this the other way, um, I don't believe I'm going to get as much heating, right? So I ha I'm using the surface area to where the sun location is roughly to my advantage here. So that way we can get this biodigester nice and warm and hot. Um, and then the other thing is too, it's up here kind of on a hill. I'm going to backfill and stuff, put dirt around here, but we're still in the early stages here, right? Um, and I'm going to divert the fertilizer and everything down this way so i'm gonna cut the grass back over here try to make all this area nice and clean uh and then i want to start piping it down and use use gravity to my advantage here um, because the the exit port will be at this height okay so even though it comes out here it has to be able to you know come out here so this is technically the height so from here out is all downhill so i can use gravity to my advantage to feed my fruit trees and all of that then i'm going to get ready to plant once we get all this going again so that's kind of the game plan there so anyway guys i want to get to work and make more headway on this and i'll cut back in all right everyone we're back as you guys can see i had to take apart the top half because um i was digging through the bags of goodies here of all the parts and it was three o-rings that looked like this right about here like this one right here on top of this um piece there's three extra o-rings and i was like where does these go and so what i had to do was in order to kind of reach and make this all work i had to remove the feeding side flange here right the flange for the feeding um tank because uh, there's i don't know if you guys can see it in here there is see those washers those um o-rings so all inside takes all the o-rings and then outside on these on these three bottom ones here takes o-rings so in order for me to kind of reach and make it all work um luckily i didn't have everything like tightened down right i was just trying to get everything together so now that's guaranteed done that's done now i can go ahead and finally assemble everything for the last time here and put everything together i also ran the cables through the roof so here's the cabling right here um there's two in each panel i ran them through there um that's actually so when you make the dome i'll show you guys how i'm going to tighten it all down but i ran that through there uh so yeah 
um, go ahead and start reassembling all this and we should get this done today. But yeah, just got to take your time because there's no clear directions, right? And so I had to take my time to figure out what was going where, you know. So anyway, I'll give you guys more footage as it comes along. All right, so I reassembled the upper row of panels and brackets and the, or frame. Um, it, here's the thing. It goes together pretty easy. You just got to make sure that like, you don't miss the small things because then you might have to take apart, take it apart again. But yeah, we have the upper row. So I'm going to go ahead and... Um, Let's see, I need to spread out my, actually, no, I need to do one more thing in here. I need to put, here's the, so here, I should point this out in this video, because we won't see this again. Right here is where the gas comes out, okay? So you see it right there? So there's actually two spots where you could actually, they gave, well, in this, when they sent it to me, you can either connect to the existing one that they installed, or there's an O-ring that they already put in place to basically accept um these right here if i wanted to use them um but since no there's no sense of cutting another hole right when they've already done that and it's got the port that comes out right uh, right there right so right here is the actual output for the gas okay so um i'm gonna go ahead and hook up the hose to it i do have to hook up the other chain so here's the chain, right? So this goes through the loop. So if you guys can see there's two loops here on the side, so right there. So the chain goes through the loop and it goes up to the top so that way it can support the middle because that's where all the gas is going. You know, this whole thing is going to create gas, but we want to make sure it goes all the way up and not have the gas port sitting on the, the biodigester fluids, you know? So you want to have that supported. So I have the chain for that. So, yeah, I'm going to pull out the hose kit, um, hook up the hoses, and then uh, temporarily hook up the chain. Then I can actually, uh, let's see, I can actually start installing, finish up, oh no, sorry, I got to finish up the roof on that side. I kind of got to work my way out, you know what I mean? Because this is like the last section right here before, if I close this up, there's no more, no getting back in here, right? So there's a couple things I need to do. Do the gas lines. Um, and then when I put this rail across here, these right here will be like those over there that support the corners of the bag. Um, and then we'll go from there. So anyway, guys, let me get back to work. It's starting to rain on me here. I, I want to try to get this done. All right, so she's going back together. More and more of the pieces are going in. Um, I'm actually putting the roof on right now. And I'm putting the... I don't think, well, I guess it's called, I guess you'd consider it weather stripping in a sense. But let me kind of get up here and get close so I can show you guys how this is getting assembled. So in the panel itself, there's two wires that loop over. So you guys can kind of see them right here. So they loop over and they pigtail out over here and then right here, right? And then there's going to be a clamp that clamps this down. So the wire acts as the um, strapping to make sure this doesn't go nowhere. Then we have this weather stripping, but it also um, conjoins both of the panels. So if you guys look inside, the camera focus for you guys, there's a groove right in here. So each panel can slide into each other. Yeah, at least, no, sorry, into the stripping. So that way they all lock in. So there's a, one in the middle here. There's one more right here I'm, I'm done putting in. And I gotta put the last panel in over here. So, yeah. I'm just trying to get that together. Now, that piece up there, that hook, is going to get tied to the chains. So I'm about to make the, the connection to that before I put on the... Uh, let's see. Actually, so after I put the chain on, I'm actually going to go ahead and close this up once and for all. Put the two panels in here. Put the support bracket, the long support bracket, the panel, and then the top support bracket to lock this corner in. And then I'll take these right here bring them across like the other one tie off the corners of the bag and then um basically finish up the outside and then the inside is completely done we're only a couple steps away from being done here guys so let me get back to work sorry about the my camera i don't know anyway let me get back to work here and i'll uh, make more progress all right guys so i have the chain <clears throat> um hooked up here now i could have let it um sag more um, but because there's two um, loopholes here, I decided to make sure I could support the um, 
the gas outlet here that's tied to the bag on both sides so it wasn't like straining and pulling on one side more than the other so now she's equal on both sides um, and she's tied up to the top there um, so yeah it's starting to come together here so finally I can close this up guys uh, yeah um, and here's the thing I can always reach in later on if I want to drop it lower or whatever um, that's not such a big deal but I think that's gonna be just fine because um, here is the out right right here is the level of the out the waste or the fertilizer and so from here up is going to be gas storage right so if you think about it in in a sense um from this middle point right here where this um valve is i'm not valve but um t the pvc pipe t right here this is the middle way right so the bottom is all biodigester then from here up is um like storage Right, so you get it. So this is like two birds at one, well, three birds at one stone. If you really think about it, right, is not only is it a greenhouse, it's going to help keep the biodigester nice and hot and warm, so we produce more gas. But it's a biodigester built into it, right? And then it's also got its own, like I guess you could call it storage, because the top half is all storage. And then you could always, if you produce enough gas and you're running out of storage, you could always pump it, pump it into another bag. Like I have extra biogas bags, so I could easily um, pump the extra in there. So, yeah, looking real good here, guys. In fact, I think it's a little too high. I think I want to drop it a little bit lower. Um, yeah, I'm going to drop it a little bit lower and then um, close this up here. And I'll give you guys more footage as we come along here. But, yeah, give me a thumbs up, guys. Things are looking good here. All right, so I dropped the chain down just a little bit. Uh, and then I also hooked up the first gas tube. This is just a basic, this, this tube is like a poly, but it's really flexible. A lot more flexible than your regular tubing. Um, and then it goes to a um, more, kind of more stiff tubing, but it is still all flexible. But I do have, um, kind of show you guys the connection right there. So I got that connected. And then it's just long enough so it pigtails out the end of one of the, the ends where it depends. You can poke it through anywhere you want, really. Um, but yeah, so that's done. Now it's finally time to close this thing up here, guys. So this is pretty much the last look of the inside, technically, um, at this stage um, for some years. Because once this goes into effect and we start producing gas, we will not turn, you know, we won't stop the process. We're just going to let it go and go and go and go and produce, produce all that free gas. All right, so let me get back to work here, guys. I'm getting completely wet. All right, so I have the bottom pieces all in. Now it's time to install that top rail right here that locks this bottom piece in and then put that last screw in through the middle to lock that. So the rail gets locked in three places, every single one of them at least. Uh, so one, two, three connections with those screws. So I wanna put that piece on next. Um, then I'm going to go ahead and slide on the last end piece over here with the, the kind of the, the white haze panel on. Lock, then I got to put that top rail up there on. And then, um, yeah, we're looking pretty good here, guys. So anyway, give you guys more footage as it comes along. All right, so I have the top rail in now. And I have the cross piece in, and I have that secured. Sorry about the camera, guys. But yeah, I have that secured nice and tight on both sides. So yeah, now I need to get in here and reach for so the straps. One strap gets tied to this one. One strap gets tied to this one. This is actually a really good design as far as how they made everything modular. I like how all the panels slide in. Everything, lo I mean, this is strong, guys. Um, not it, There's so many like bolts that you tighten tighten down that's already on everything right like let me kind of show you guys inside if it'll focus for us come on hard to see but there's an ellen screw that goes through right so on every piece there's an ellen screw there's a lot of them and when you tighten them down it makes this this frame really tight and these corner pieces, when you start tightening them down to even secure the corners up really well, that's a pretty decent design. So anyway, I'm gonna get the top um, foggy, um, this piece right here. I don't even know what you call them. This piece right here for this piece, then put that top rail on, um, tighten that down, and then the end will be done. 
and then we can go ahead and install the last panel on the top and basically we have two end pieces we have to put in a little latch to open and close to look inside from time to time to look and see how things are doing uh, and then I need to put the secure the chain so this is all tightened down with that boot but this chain right here sorry guys with the camera my, I'm sorry I apologize everyone my my camera keeps trying to it's getting out of focus and in focus anyway um, this comes all the way up and it snugs up against here and then there's a little piece that I put right here to kind of keep this basically straight and it makes it really you know from moving around on you it keeps it steady so that's what that chain is for and i'm windling down on all the pieces and parts guys not much left uh so like these pieces right here i'll give you an example so on the bottom of the whole frame is these pieces right here and what they do is they tie in the corner so we put this up here right we put this in here if i can find it there we go so it ties in the corner so they even thought about putting something like this in so that's nice so i'll go ahead and since it's already there uh, get it hand tight in there but yeah pretty um pretty decent design guys for sure and we'll put this other one over here it really locks everything in that's what i like about it sorry guys i'm trying to look for the there we go and then we'll put the the ellen wrench on there and tighten it all the way down and everything of course but yeah she's coming together guys whoo it's wet today though anyway i want to get back to work here guys put that last panel in put the rail in put the roof on and keep moving forward here guys all right so i have that piece in now i have the top rail in that's all nice and tight and secure so I have the last roof piece that goes in. So we're gonna go ahead and peel off the protective film here. I gotta send the cables through here. So in fact, the last two cables are over here. We're gonna put those in. So yeah, let me peel this off. That's the last piece right there, guys, for the roof. So let me put the cables through, get that all squared away. I'll get that mounted in and I have to line that up with those, the weather stripping. Um, I'm, that's what I'm calling it. I don't, I don't know if that's what they call it, but that's what I'm calling it. I have to be able to slide them into each other so that way they all lock into each other. And that's the last roof piece right here. And then they have these notches right here. There's two panels that have that and the middle panel does not have that. And it's to be able to come over the the edge over here right so yeah guys it's super wet today i want to hurry up and try to get this done i'm very close to the home stretch here so let me get back to work all right everyone so i um, made some pretty good headway got the top on um was also able to get the gas line going a little bit here so it's tied into the bag I have a, basically an on and off valve. It's basically a ball valve. Um, then it goes into a water separator. So I got to connect the holes on this side. And the bottom is where if I ever need to empty the water, I can do that. Uh, and then from there, it's going to go into the H2S scrubber. And then from there, down the line. Um, but because this is like a storage vessel by itself in a, in a sense, you know, I can leave this off until it starts to build up because there's, you know, there's a lot of space in here for it to um, a storage before I have to worry about um, putting it somewhere else. So uh, I have to finish the two end pieces, but I don't want to put the two end pieces on until I start the biodigester up because when we start filling this up, I want to be able to, you know, peek inside from both sides and just see how everything is leveling out in there. Because I, I know my platform is level, but I want to make sure that I don't have any, you know, like kinks or anything in the membrane. I want to make sure it's all nice and flat as she expands out. So, um, the same time I finish up the two ends um, will be the same time I do the startup on this. And it'll be the same time I basically do the last final um, tie downs right here. I already got the corners and all that, so she's not going nowhere. But yeah, guys, give me a thumbs up. Got a lot done. Uh, the next video you guys see on this will be the finished product, really. Uh, everything closed up. I'll show you guys starting the process up as well. Uh, and then we'll go from there. 
other than that guys everything went kind of smooth just kind of dealing with the wet 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 weather here and um i'm kind of soaking wet so i want to go in the house get dry take a nice hot shower and then uh maybe this coming week sometime when i get some more time um we'll do the startup process on this and then we can um get some free gas out of this so anyway guys just a quick video here just trying to keep everybody in the loop of how all this stuff gets put together and i'll definitely see you guys on the next one